What's up, everyone? This is XVAA Mars Playground. Thank y'all guys for joining me today. And today we're just going to be talking about schooling and how everything went. OK, and also before we get to that um, important information, OK, we're going to be talking about uh, a little about business. OK, if y'all guys already have business, don't be trying to do no cricket stuff with y'all business. OK, um, most people during the pandemic, they was signing up for PPP. So government was giving you the PPP, but always remember it's going to come back at you. So if you got a PPP. And if you weren't struggling with your business, okay, meaning that if you didn't have anything that you was selling on Shopify or Amazon or anything, and if you weren't making no profit or anything, or if you had a storefront, guys, you can't just have an LLC and try and do crooked stuff. Because when you get that ID, it links up and it tells you exactly. You still have to file your taxes at the end of the year. That's how they catching people. But not only that. Not just because you fouling, all right? They already know exactly. So meaning that a year before that, if you didn't have no income, then they estimate like, well, this person hasn't filed anything in business, okay? So they are coming back for their money. PPP money coming back. Uh, always trying to find a way that you can make some kind of income, okay? And the states, I think it's like $600 you have to report. Make sure you get some kind of income every month, okay? Don't worry about no assistance like that unless you really need it, okay? If you really need it, apply for that. Another thing, too, to bring to your attention, if you was given, getting um, uh, unemployment checks as well, they're coming back for that. If you're already working, what's going to happen is they're going to start garnishing your check, all right? Then you're going to be crying, all right? And the government, when they garnish your check, especially... If you're trying to steal any funds, they grab the whole thing. Now, if you owe your taxes, yeah, you can work out a program. Uh, they have a, a installment program for you. You know, they hey, they like that. They like you talking. But if you're stealing from them, Uncle Sam, all right, with that gray beard, he's going to snatch it up. He's going to take everything. And then when you're trying to pay your bills at you know, when the bills come out, you're not going to have any money. So be careful with that, guys. All right. And that's very serious. It's no joke. And another thing, too, if you was working, if you were working and you had a job that was giving you some kind of wages that your employer was giving you. And if you signing up for a link card or anything and it was giving you money for that. Y'all guys, you can get in trouble for that. All right. Always remember Social Security. These days, everything get intercepted, okay? Uh, it's not like back in the days, you know, you do your paperwork, it take a while, whatever. Everything get accepted right away. If you owe money, child support, everything, anything, it get intercepted, all right? So if you did that, if you're making over like $20 an hour, you know, or less, and if you was getting some kind of benefits from that through the link card and anything, guess what's going to happen? They're going to garnish that. They want you to pay it back. And it's a felon now, y'all. They put a felon on that. Meaning that when you try to start your business one day, while you're doing a nine to five, it's going to be hard for you to get your LLC. You get your LLC, but people's not going to work with you when you're trying to get your corporate credit. So don't put yourself in those shoes that Uncle Sam is looking for you. Okay. Now, if you're getting calls from other places around the world or your neck of the woods and they saying they Uncle Sam, you, what you can do is you can either write a letter back to Uncle Sam or you can go to your local RS place to find out this stuff is legit. Do not be scared of Uncle Sam. Do not be scared of the government. If you owe anything, do not get scammed. There's a whole lot of scammers out there. Do not send no money. When I get fake calls or anything like that, I go to my local RS branch or I tell them this. Well, if you really are the RS or anything and if you got my information... Just go ahead. Let's make an installment deal and you can just go ahead and take it out my wage or my business wage. That's it. Don't get scammed or anything like that, especially in business. OK, don't get scammed. All right. Now, let's go ahead and go ahead and talk about homeschooling. OK, homeschooling went well again. OK, kids love it. All right. We did activities. Uh, we learned. Um, about black holes all right 
meaning that that was the extra curriculum with the black hole. So with my uh, oldest child, she was doing math. So uh, she had some, she had a little problem with something, just recapping everything, but everything's got going, got her timetable was going as well. Okay. Uh, the middle child was doing science um, and everything as well. So when I set this up, I try to set it, everybody doing different stuff. So I started with the oldest first and just go ahead and work my way down. Okay. So if I'm doing math for one, I have the middle child doing science and I got Jay doing her um, alphabets. So make sure you take your time. Okay. Make sure time, you, you, you know, you have time with that. Only thing is some people realize it's stressful. It's life. Life is life is stressful. Okay. So you just got to make sure you have that discipline. As long as you have that discipline, you can be able to do that. If you don't have discipline of doing homeschooling, you can't have discipline of starting your business. Meaning that I do everything, okay? Like I said, I do stock, crypto mining, all right? I have to uh, do uh, some of my retail stuff, right? And I do the school stuff, right? So I made that choice to do that, all right? That way I can have more time and send my kids to grow up. All right. So like like I was saying, guys, uh, just go ahead and, and do your investigation. Find out something that works with you. Every state and every state law is different. OK, so meaning that if you live in Texas, it's different from Illinois. Illinois is different from Nevada, California. Every state laws have that. You got to find out what your state laws have with homeschooling. Like I said in the other video, when you get. You know, find out everything. Make sure you send in the paperwork. Keep that paperwork. They're going to send you a little leather bag statement that, hey, everything's legit, blah, blah, blah. Only thing is, when you moving, they want to know exactly where you're moving. Don't ask me why, but it's kind of weird. But don't make life hard for yourself as well. Okay, guys? So always remember, you control your own destiny. And if you don't, something wrong. Okay?